we want to move this outlet on this side of the wall. So you have like five different holes that you're patching and then you're going to remove your uh, uh, wallpaper. Yeah, just, just get rid of it completely. It's going to save you more time and you'll be able to see all the plumbing and uh, be able to address anything that might be wrong. Yeah, this is a, so that's what they did. That's what they did. They just added an outlet off the lighting circuit. So once you turn off the light, you turn off your outlet. Really, you shouldn't do that. It should be a dedicated outlet for this. Um, hair dryers take up a lot of power. So if you have your lighting circuit and everything connected to that, it's just not a good idea. And this is just a, a rat's nest here. So let's just get rid of all of this boy so they got they canceled out an end here i don't know what that's going on there let's just double check so that's hot or is it yeah it is hot so we're gonna want to yeah so we're gonna want to turn off the breaker here to this yeah, so that is hot. So that must be done. That's terrible. Just to have a loose end like that hanging in the back of the wall. Uh, that's not a real. Oh yeah, this is hot. Yeah, that's you really shouldn't let that be sitting in the wall like that. Okay, so we got, yeah, we got a power supply and a switch loop to here. So um, this is a three wire. So you got the red, black, and white. So the red is probably the switch and then this black is already hot. So since there's already two power supplies here, this is technically two different power supplies. You can go ahead and just, um, as long as you know what else this is connected to, we could run the outlet off of this hot splice because this will be dedicated circuit for um, your GFI. Now this is a 15 amp line, so you're only gonna be able to do a 15 amp GFI. So 15, um, but for all intents and purposes, you could use this hot, a hot line to connect to your um, GFI. Okay, so we're gonna be running a dedicated GFI because the existing wire was not correct. So what I normally do is go 42 inches off the bottom of the floor. That's where you want the bottom of your outlet to be. But I want to keep it a little bit further away from the wall, so I'm going to put another 2x4 here. Forty-two inches off the bottom of the floor. We can set our box. These have little tabs here for half inch drywall. So you just stick that up right against that wood or your stud. Okay, so if you ran a wire in a corner like this, this is sometimes the easiest way to do it is just to notch it out and then just stick a some metal plates over that corner.
Okay, so then you want to cut the wires about three quarters of an inch, exposing that copper. And then as far as in threading it into the actual GFI, uh, the roll is black on brass. So you want to use the black wire, put it on the brass side, the neutral wire, and they'll indicate that on the back of the GFI, which one's which. But make sure that you connect that ground wire and pull and tug on those wires and make sure they're secure. So we, we brought this wire down for that GFI. So let's just go ahead and So really the only way this is really dangerous is if you get your hands into the actual bars on the side here. So this is the main entrance cable coming in. So if you just, as long as you stay away from these bars on the side, don't touch, I mean, that's a neutral line, but if you touch any of these inside of here, you can get shocked. So just kind of keep your hands away from the back of the box. Um, but basically you're just gonna bring your neutral line over. So try to find an empty spot. We don't have anything until we have it up here. So we'll loosen one of these up. It's not gonna really matter either side. You can just find an empty spot anywhere for it. Bring our new breaker in. Again, take about an inch off your wire. Make sure it stays off at first. Tug on your wire. That's all there really is to it. Now you can neaten this up by straightening out your wires. But yeah, basically the neutral bars, you can put the ground or the neutral together. You can add a bunch of grounds together if you wanted to, but you always want to separate all the neutral lines, have it in its own dedicated port to um, connect to. So really easy to put a breaker in or adding a circuit. And we'll go ahead and put our number eleven. We'll just put bath. It'll be the GFI for the bath. 